Hey YouTube, this is Bill. Another mix and match battery operated PA test. Today we have on the left a speaker I have not reviewed on the web before. And that is the old discontinued JBL Eon One Pro. In the middle, we have a speaker that I have reviewed, the Maui 5 Go battery operated. And on the far right, is the uh, columns for the Maui 5 Go. What's nice about the JBL, all the columns are integrated into the base unit. So it's an easy carry. This was a uh, two trip to the car carry. Um, the, the JBL Eon One Pro is not light, 36 pounds. So that was one carry. And then the second trip to the car was the Maui 5 Go uh, in one hand and over my shoulder were the, was the case for the columns. Okay, let me set it up, see how this sounds outdoors. So this is what I'm talking about, the Eon One Pro, all the columns, three piece, pieces, two spacers, and then the top uh, column with your, your sound basically, your small, mid-range high drivers everything nestles into the base unit which is really nice you don't have to deal with speaker stands and of course this is carried over into the newer model this this model is now discontinued the newer model has the same feature and that is a jbl eon one mark ii that i am enjoying and really like and i reviewed that as well please check out that video so here we are all set up um, I didn't time it, probably about three minutes to just click everything together. I've said this before in past videos, it's kind of like a Legos. One, two, three, a couple of snaps and, and you're done. So that's amazing compared to the old mixer and speakers on a pole. People are wondering why I might never have um, reviewed this particular speaker. And that's because I've had considerable troubles with it. And I'm not the only one. A lot of people had troubles with the Eon One Pro. Uh, they call it Pro. I spent $1,300, very pricey. It is battery internal, but the, there's been many issues reported on the web of battery getting uh, failing from out of the box. And in my case, uh, I did have to replace the battery once. JBL sent me a new battery. That was that was good of them, but. Uh, to this day, the battery gets very, very hot, to toast, toaster hot, which I don't feel is normal. Um, besides that, there's been all kinds of issues reported on the web, and that is the preamps are very, very weak. So for gigi musicians, this, this was a real failure. Um, microphone, you would have to crank it up to 12, and you still would need a a mixer so what was the point to get an all-in-one system if you need a mixer same thing with instruments i plugged in my electronic drums and there just wasn't enough game but on the positive note the bluetooth channel is excellent <laughs> but I mean, people say yeah thirteen hundred dollars for a bluetooth speaker that's pricey and so many people were unhappy with this and that's why i've never uh reviewed it and that's why I've moved on to the JBL Mark II. But for today, and I haven't played this speaker in a long time, so we're gonna give it a try. Here we have the same idea, Maui 5 Go, put together in probably less than three minutes, three pieces, click, 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 and you're done. And, you know, I know the people who say the speakers on a pole are better, and I probably agree with that, but there's nothing like the speed of setup and tear down with these small column arrays. That's what I love about it. And that's why I took this out today. I didn't really feel like dragging my mixer and two speaker poles. So uh, the LD Maui 5 is super light. The base unit is, I believe about 20 pounds. It's the, light, it's the lightest uh, column array base unit I, I have found. And, uh, but that, could be a negative also people have reported during gigs uh, a good gust of wind will knock this system down so people actually have to bring a sandbag it's so light to put on top of the base unit something to keep in mind setup couldn't be any faster 
I'm running this system today on strictly Bluetooth, which I like. I'm able to walk around with my source. In this case, it's a tablet. And I like the fact I'm able to walk around and hear the same uh, sound that the audience is getting. And I can tailor the sound accordingly. So here we have one cable system. It's a pass through from the JBL Eon One Pro. It's an XLR out. And I do want to point out for some odd reason on the new Mark II, uh, it's a quarter inch out. And I do miss the XLR. I think it's a more professional connection and I don't know why they downgraded that. I'm a little disappointed in that. But here the old Pro does have a Pro feature and that is XLR out. And that one cable goes to the Maui 5 Go into an input and that's it. We're connected. So that's what it looks like all set up. Two speakers, one cable, Bluetooth connection. Couldn't be simpler or lighter. Very light system. So I've been doing some testing between the two speakers, trying to level them out. Uh, the goal is to get a center image. Since I'm using two different speakers, uh, it takes a little time and I've run into a little bit of a problem. The Maui 5 Go is a considerably less powerful speaker on Bluetooth than the JBL Eon One Pro. So what I've had to do is turn the JBL down to about 11 o'clock on the gain and the Maui 5 Go is maxed out. So it's the, not the best use of your uh, gain staging. So I wouldn't call these two the best pairing, but it was, it was an experiment. It does sound great though. It's just that the, Mau, uh, the JBL EM1 Pro has more room on the gain and the Maui is already maxed out. Okay, let's do a sound test and we'll see how it sounds. It does sound very good, but um, the, the volume is limited. It does have more room, unfortunately. What I'm talking about. So this is the uh, JBL EI1 Pro. Look where the master volume is. Uh, pretty much below 11 o'clock, maybe 10:30. So I'm going to consider this these two speakers a mismatch. Even though I hate to say it, the Maui 5 Go is so light. Um, but this speaker, the JBL EI1 Pro, is just too too powerful. I have to just turn it down too much to get a proper blend. So this is why I do these mix and match videos. Basically, it's an experimentation, and I would say this is not a um, combination I would go out with again. Uh, maybe the next time the JBL Eon One Pro would match up much better with something like a Mackie Thumb Go, which has uh, quite a bit more power. Of course, the JBL Eon One Mark II is even more powerful than the Pro. And then if I play those two together, I'd be in the same situation where I would have to lower the Mark II volume to make them blend. Okay, this is Bill. I hope you enjoyed. Until the next time, later.